to stack it. How are you going to get concrete to stack this high? We're going to show you how we do that. And we're going to go, it's going to be monolithic because you got your footer and everything. What's great on our side is we have all sand under here, so it's just it's great drainage. into that watch okay go forward I mean yep we got all this extra concrete here we just put it on the, on the front just like that this is a new wet stuff so that wind a little bit of wind you can get the outside of it the base crystal is what I don't know I have something it's just straight nice levels right up with the uh, about how uh, regular rock structures look, how they fit together. You can make bigger ones, smaller ones, put it all together. And when you go to cut, you got your line. Cut at an angle this way, out, and then you angle out this way. Off. You have a let's say for instance you have a rock you're building right here. That's gonna be a rock across here. You cut it. You just you can actually drop some of the plaster off there. Be the same rock. The same rock, it's just a little bit of cleft you inside the rock. Cut in fast. Yeah, it starts drying on you after a while. What if you put the plaster around? Okay. Well, what do you think, Ryan? Looks great. Looking good. There's a little bit of uh, just kind of cleaning the bottom there. We'll 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 cut these uh, weeper holes, the drainage pipes over here, and so you'll have the drainage in there. But now it's all it's starting to dry up. Now we did a total of uh, two hours and 15 minutes on the wall. Yeah. That's from the time that we started dumping the concrete to right now. Yep. What do you think? A couple hours? It's pretty amazing. Pretty quick, yeah. Yeah, and it looks, you know, to, uh, you know, look irregular. You see that? Yeah. See the rocks? They don't look like it's just one flat. You yeah. Know? That's what I'm saying. Even when you're plastering, if some comes out more than the other, it looks like you stacked it. And look, if you look at it from the side there, it has rocks coming in and out because you plastered over, made some, yeah. you know, made the rocks a little bit more, uh, you know, thicker and then some thinner, and just different styles of rocks. Yep. So that's it. All right, we'll be back. To, we got just gotta clean it up and. Uh, Come back and stain it up, stain it. Uh, then we grout in between here, to, you know, and get some, you know, effects on it, some real cool color effects. The colors you're gonna love. Yeah. All right. All right. See you. Good job. Okay. Well, we're back again. The wall's all done. Um, we got the grinder out here. This is, uh, I think, this is the weather terracotta. And I'll just hit it in the sides. Now, if I get overspray, I'm not that worried about it because I'm going to go back over it. Great uh, supplier who has a 25% UV sealer, that type of thing. And you can get stuff that doesn't look glossy. You want a flat color. Dig we actually did a, yeah. uh, another uh, wall there. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Okay. Well, Ryan, what do you think? That was pretty impressive how, how quick we did it. 
Sure. Yeah, and you know what? Actually, total time maybe maybe a day and a half around there. But look what it looks like as per block, or you know, you know, in real rocket, you know, you're a real rock mason. You do it all the time. Uh, what's the difference between this and whatever you used to do? The difference is, if you look at some of these big rocks, I'd probably have to flip that about five times before I actually got it to fit perfectly. See, all these joints are really consistent. And the uh, difference is my back, like I'm not sore today. I feel, yeah, I feel like I could take my girlfriend on this job. Nah. Hi, my name is Ryan Gagnon. I'm with uh, Gagnon Masonry, Ryan Gagnon Masonry. I just got, got into these stone walls. It's a lot easier than doing any other stone wall you could possibly imagine, block walls or anything. Um, you know, it's something that you and a buddy could do in maybe two or three days. Uh, the problem I saw in it, I, I think I'm going to have a lot of competition out there if somebody were to buy something like this because it's, it's that easy. I mean, we colored it in probably three hours. Um, so I, I really think that this product is awesome. Uh, I don't think there's anything like it. I've done it in a lot of seminars, and there's no other wall system out there like this. On it, and you start still drying up a little bit, but it's boy, it looks as natural as anything. You can sit back over there, and it looks like people driving by. It looks like a real rock wall, and it'll be here forever. As long as you have this house, this thing's gonna be around. You got solid concrete chewing slump. This stuff is. Uh, it was put in dry and it stays nice and strong. You can't yeah. tell with that rock right here. You can't tell if that's fake or real. No, really. Look at so that. So you're getting a concrete wall with a stone look. Isn't that something? Well, thank you for uh, being a part of our Stonemakers program. And, uh, you know, if you want any of the DVDs, whether it be water features, uh, the retainer wall, of course, steps, how we do steps, entryways, pillars, everything that you see on the website, it, you know, we can show you how to do it. Uh, as, as the DVDs become available, just order them. Uh, you can also have any questions online. Just go to, go, on, go online and uh, shoot us an email. We'd be happy to answer any questions we can for you. So uh, good luck with your fight. When you when you do your wall or you do your project, man, uh, post a picture on our blog or post you know send us a picture and we'll put it up on the site. Thank you again.